How about this? Let me give it a more interesting task. Let me go over to my GitHub. And I'm going to use it to explain code. Let's see, which code should we use? How about this one? Animated GIF. So this is from a recent video on the channel. Click on raw and then I'm going to copy everything. And new chat, please explain or just explain the following Python code. Let's see if it will be able to do so. I just pasted in the entire code here. Okay, cool. So it's explained that this is a Streamlit app. It is that allows users to upload a video file. Yes, in MOV or MP4 format, exactly. And then apply various transformation to it, such as changing the video resolution, playback speed and duration range to be exported, exactly. The user can also preview a particular frame of this video by selecting a time value using the slider. Yeah, I think it's probably reading the comments that I have in here. I documented my code, commented my code. So it's exactly what the app is doing. Here is a breakdown of the code. The first line imports the Streamlit library. Second line import the OS, yes. This code sets up session state variables for various video properties. It is, it is doing so. Cool, it's pretty impressive. The code then display various metric about the video. The code then creates a slider widget that allows the user to select a particular time frame. Okay, it's reasonably good, but then it's not the style of how I would write my blog post, but I must say it's doing a pretty good job in explaining the code. Right, and that was in Python. Let me see, do I have R code here? Yeah, I do, it's in here. Lipinski R. Let's click on the code here. Let me create a new chat. Explain the following R code in simple terms. Enter. This code is creating two plots using the ggplot2 library and then combining them into a single plot using the cowplot library. That's correct. And it's telling us what is the first plot and what is the second plot. Cool. Yep, we, we've indeed combined several plots into one using cowplot library. Okay. It's pretty good. It's, it's providing at a high level look of the code. And I, I must say it's pretty cool. It's out of this world.